Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about notes on ellipse. We're going to talk about ellipse and share some notes with you. So I'll share my screen with you. So I have drawn two pictures of ellipse. Okay. And ellipse is the set of all points x, y, such as shown on the ellipse, which is a point a point x, y on the ellipse. Set of all points, the sum of whose distance from the two fill point, uh, two fixed points called foci is constant. That is, anywhere x and y located on the ellipse, sum of d1 plus d2 is constant. Okay. The line through the foci, the two focus points, intersects the ellipse at two points called the vertices. So there is one vertex on the left hand side where the cord drawn to the two foci intercept, one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side vertex. The cord joining the vertices is called major axis. So in this case, I've shown the major axis as horizontal. And its midpoint mid means the central point, the center, is called the center of the ellipse. So again, the horizontal axis or the major axis is the chord joining or the straight line joining the two for side, where the uh, uh, major axis intersects the ellipse. These are called vertex vertices. There are two vertices, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, the midpoint of the major axis is called the center of the ellipse. The chord perpendicular to the major axis at the center is called the minor axis of the ellipse. The standard form of the equation of an ellipse with center h, k, and the major and minus minor axis of length 2a and 2b, that is the length of the major axis is 2a, and the length of the, min length of the minor axis is 2b, and the center is h, k, is x, and also note a is greater than b x minus h square divided by a square plus y minus k square divided by b square equal to one. In this case, major axis is horizontal. On the other hand, if we have an x minus h square divided by b square plus y minus k square divided by a square equal to one, then the minor axis of the, or the major axis of the ellipse is vertical. Notice a is greater than b, okay? so. If it is x minus a squared divided by a squared plus y minus k squared divided by v squared equal to one, then major axis is horizontal. And if it is x minus a squared divided by b squared plus y minus k squared divided by a squared, that is equal to one, then the major axis is vertical, okay? And a is greater than b. Also, the foci lie on the major axis, c units from the center. The value of c is given by c square equal to a square minus b square. So c is the distance of the foci from the center point. I will stop here today. If you have any question, you can write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please uh, subscribe to my channel. At the bottom right corner, there is a subscribe button. I'll appreciate that. And I will see you next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.